In electric grids that contain combined resistances, particularly with an active, for instance, incandescent bulbs with electric heating units, and in inductive, such as electromotors, distribution transformers or welding equipment, components' total power consumed from the mains can be represented by this vector diagram. Current phase lagging behind voltage in indu inductive elements determines time intervals when current and voltage are opposite in sign, positive voltage and negative current and vice versa. At such moments, power is not consumed by load, but is transferred over the grid back to the generator, in which case electric energy reserved in each inductive element is distributed in the grid without being dispersed in active elements and producing oscillatory movements instead of from the load to the generator and back. Corresponding power is called reactive. Apparent power is the combination of active power that performs useful work and reactive power that is used up to create magnetic fields that causes extra load in mains power. Correlation between apparent and active power expressed as a cosine of the angle between the vectors is called power factor. Active energy is converted into useful one, mechanical, thermal and other energy types. Reactive energy is not related to performing useful work, but is necessary to create the magnetic field whose presence is a must for electromotors and transformers to operate. Reactive power consumption from an energy provider is inexpedient since it causes an increase in generators and transformers power, reduces transmission capacity of leading in cables, as well as escalates resistance losses and drops the voltage due to an increase in the reactive component of the power grid current. It is therefore needed to generate reactive power at consumer's end, which is ensured by capacitors-based reactive power compensation units. Reactive power compensation units are electrical receivers with capacitance current. During operation, they generate advanced reactive power, that is, the current leads the, vol the voltage to compensate lagging reactive power generated by an inductive load. To reduce reactive current ratio in the generator load system, compensation devices are connected across the load. Reactive power is then no longer moving between the generator and the load, but is oscillating locally between the reactive component, load induction coils and the compensator. Such reactive power compensation, minimization of the inductive current in the generator load system, particularly ensures supply of higher real power to the load, while generator nominal apparent power remains the same.